Hello guys, welcome back to Kai's Knockouts. And I'm going to try something different here. Um, for 2021, I am trying to be more financially stable. And what I want to do is be smarter about my money. So I've been looking on YouTube and TikTok and I found a lot of information about budget binders and cash stuffing methods and zero based budgeting and that's what i'm going to try today so i went to the bank and i got this little binder here from dollar tree and um uh, i deposited well i took out 205 dollars i got my whole plan of what exactly i want to do and all that all right, so let's get into the money counting. It should be $205. Let's see. So 50, 100, 120, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, 190, 195, two hundred and five dollars so that's perfect now uh, this is how I budgeted everything I just found this on YouTube um, somebody I was watching they had this and I got it printed I did it for yesterday the 12th one of my checks and when I went to the bank I already had it pre-written so I should have two fifties which I do two twenties, five tens, and three uh, fives to equal 205. And then I got the breakdown for the savings and where I want my money to be, okay? So let's do the stuffing. I got this binder from, oh, I don't need that. So I'm gonna put this aside, put that out of the way. Now, I got this bi this binder from Amazon. I think it was like $11. Um, it was like $11. And it came with these labels. I took what I needed out of it. And this is how I got mine set up. So I got personal beauty and care, which is like my hair, uh, pedicure, I don't know, facial massages, whatever I want to do. I would put the put in this envelope shopping or clothing whatever I want to shop for most of the time this is just for thrift store this is kind of how I treat myself gas um, I really want to stick to a budget with gas so I made it its own thing Christmas because they didn't have a label for Christmas and then also gifts as well for the rest of the year um, I did miscellaneous and then also some health bills because we got some um, medical stuff we need to pay for. So I want a budget for that. That's up and coming. Travel. They didn't have a label for travel, but I definitely want a budget for traveling. And then dining out. And then food and groceries. So I'm still in the process of, you know, making it on my own. So Make sure y'all come along with me on this journey as I, you know, get more binders, make it more personal. But right now, this is what works for me. So let's get stuffing, okay? Okay, so the first one I'm going to stuff here is personal beauty in here. So let's see. There's nothing in there now. Um, so I budgeted for $20, so I'm going to put $20, and then I'm just going to put today's date, because that's when I'm starting it. So there's a balance of $20. That's how I'm going to keep up with it. Let's see here. So $20 in my personal and beauty. So the next one is shopping and 
clothing and I budgeted ten dollars so let's take out the shopping just do the same thing since we're starting and these little cards came with the book as well just gonna put today's date maybe start and then we're going to do $10. So we have a total of $10 in here. Okay. Now let's put the $10 in there. Let's see. Next is gas. And I budgeted $5 for that because I already filled up my tank. And um, so we're just refreshing. So same thing, 11.13. Start $5 and $5 total. So let's put $5 in here. So that has a total of $5. Next up is Christmas, and I budgeted for Christmas to have $50. I've already got what I wanted to get for Christmas. Um, I've already planned for it for Babe and I, and I got it on in my cart on Amazon, so I already know how much I need. And then we're just going to put a 50 in there. So let's get that in there. Okay, let's see. Moving on. Miscellaneous and health. We budgeted for $10 in there. So let's just do the same thing. So, again, that $10 in there. So, we're going to write 13. We're going to write start. We're putting $10 in there. So, the total is going to be $10. Now, let's stuff it. Let's put a $10 bill in there. Let's put a ten dollar bill in there. Okay, so next is travel. We got some trips coming up for travel, so I have budgeted for travel to be fifty dollars. So again, we are going to write today's date. We are going to write start. I'm putting in 50, so the balance is going to be $50. And this is for travel. Travel. So let's get the travel stuff. Let's see. So travel is stuffed. Next up, we have dining out. And I have budgeted $10 for dining out. So let's get a card for it. So I'll put it. Let's fill it out. 11, 13. Dine out. We budgeted $10. So it's going to be a balance of 10 And we are going to what starts. So we got dine out all squared away. All right, let's get this open. And let's get a 10 for that. And Last one we have is for food and groceries. Let's see here, and I budgeted 25. I can put a 
card in there. So let's fill it out. 11, 13, food, groceries. We're gonna just write that start again. And we budgeted 25 and it's gonna end with 25. So our food and our groceries. Let's get 20 and five dollars to put inside. Just stuff that. And that is it for our sinking funds. So okay, so the last thing we budgeted for was two saving challenges. So I'm going to do a 26 week challenge and then I'm also going to be doing a 52 week challenge. So a six month challenge and a one year challenge. So here's my 52 week challenge. So I just got some stickers from the Dollar Tree. Um, I wrote on it and I also got some this box from the Dollar Tree and I got this in here as a reference so we know how much we're gonna do so today is week one we're gonna be stuffing five dollars so we are going to just check it off and all I did was I was budget friendly I got some envelopes I cut them in half wrote the weeks on them wrote the amount so they, I cut them in half so they would fit in the box. And that's it. So the first one is week one. It's for $5. So I got my $5 here. Put it in here. And what I'm going to do. I'm gonna put the $5 in here. And what we're going to do is just put it in the back. So then we know. You know what's next and then I'm gonna put our list back in there as well so we can stay on track so that's that and then now for our 26 week challenge I did the same thing um, I did the same thing with the envelopes, just kind of did some stickers and I got this same box at the Dollar Tree too. I was trying to be budget friendly and I got this challenge in here as well. So this one is gonna be an in increments of 10. So today we have, um, we're on week one, so we're actually just going to go ahead and check off week one and then we're going to be good to go. So we're going to put it back, put that back, week one, says $10. I just used some duct tape that I already had. All right, let's stuff this one, put our $10 in there. And then we're gonna put it in the back next week is week two. All right. And what we have left is ten dollars, and this is what I owe babe. So this was already budgeted. I just need to give it to him for cash. So this brings us to the end of the video. Um, please leave any suggestions um any tips because i'm new to this um uh about your savings about cash stuffing any advice any tips or tricks um where you get your stuff did you use etsy did you make your own just leave that down in the comments um, i'm gonna try to post maybe once a week if not it'll be two times a month 
I want to try to be consistent because if I keep posting, I know you guys will help me be more consistent. Um, you know, I kind of got a little bit of what I need. You know, stickies. It's okay. Don't judge. You know, everybody can't afford $40 and $50 fancy budget and things. You know, the point is to save money and to do it the way it works for you. And this is what works for me for now. Um, so this is my seeking funds. My savings challenges, any questions, tips or tricks, please leave them down there. Comment below any suggestions and thank you guys for watching. Follow me on this savings journey as I try to be debt free. I got some credit cards that I need to pay off. And by the time I'm done with these challenges, that's what it's going to go for. And just follow along with me as I get more budget savvy, more smart with my money as I learn more tips and tricks. Um, thank you so much for watching.